Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World. We are currently in Redditch. We're going to be taking the service as far as Eld to Va, also known as Litchfield T Valley, or if you're fancy, Litchfield Trent Valley. Cool. Um, let's get this set up. Let's unisolate this stuff because I want that simulated. Um, let's key on. Get that in forward. Get that on. Right. Got the doors open. Sick. It's lovely uh, West Midlands Railway Class 323 here. This is specifically its unit 208, which um, is no... Why does it keep doing that? This unit is no longer in the West Midlands. Um, this unit has been with Northern for quite some time. Most of the cross city line diagrams are now run by class 730s. So, yeah, but those aren't in this game yet. I don't know if they will be. So today we're driving a 323. Right, let's close these doors. You closing? Lovely stuff. Okay, uh, let's put it in forward. Let's go. Oh, I love those noises so much. Let's give it, uh, give it notch four because we can go all the way up to 30 miles an hour. But I need to be careful because it's quite a steep downhill gradient here. Uh, oh, yeah, see, already, already briefly touched 31 there. Let's try and avoid that. Let's get this wiped off the screen. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to do this video in two parts because it is long, this journey. Uh, so I'll, I'll do up to Birmingham New Street in part one. And then the rest of the way to Litchfield Trent Valley will be in a part two of sorts. Because this, uh, this scenario is one hour and twenty minutes long. Right. Oh, yeah, don't speed, don't speed. See, look, 1.4% uh, downwards here. It's 1.5. It is a steep, steep gradient. So... <laughs> we must, uh, we must be mindful and break accordingly. Right, once the rear of the train is past the 70 mile an hour board, which it is now, let's go! Um, honestly, I'm surprised that we've not been given a six car for this. I don't know how frequently they use uh, three cars versus six cars down in the south, but I, I feel I, like whenever I've seen cross city line trains, they've been six coaches. So yeah, I'm surprised. Up north, of course, it's usually three cars. Right, we are uh, we're now going back uphill. Should have made it a giant viaduct. Should have made it a giant viaduct indeed. Right. We're up to 70, almost. Let's give it, uh, let's put it back in notch two. Stop going uphill now. Notch one. There we go, there's a, there's a 323 coming the other direction. Just another single unit. So that's, that will have had to wait there before it could enter the single line section, because you cannot have more than one train in a single line section. That is, that is a big no-no. Right, it looks like we've got a 40 limit coming up, and then Alva Church Station. I assume that's how you pronounce it. I'm not from, uh, not from the West Midlands. I've not been to the West Midlands much, so... Oh, that'll be for that 40 limit. Right, let's, uh, let's give it a notch of braking. That might have been a little bit premature, but 
It's alright. See, he's back. I have found that in previous videos I've not been, um, I've not really been careful enough with my braking, so I'm going to try and turn over a new leaf. I've got 1.5% gradient here, so we are actually slowing down quite a lot. So I'm going to try and uh, keep us around 40 just for a little bit. Just until we get a little bit closer to the station. Although we are, we are doing there, um, kind of now. So, yeah. Alright, I can see the station up ahead. Or at the very least, I can see its lifts and, and footbridge. Alright, let's get some braking in. We are slightly late already. Oh well. That seems like an awfully, uh, awfully far back stopping position. Is there a is there a stop marker anywhere? Well, you know what? I'll I'll trust the game. Rear the trains on so. Right. Um. Left doors are open. Ah, camera's glitching. Camera's glitching so much. That'll do. That's better. Right. Uh, let's lock those doors. We've got a 25 coming out the station, so need to be careful of that. Wish the bell buzzer was simulated. I don't think I don't think there's any routes in uh, in Train Sim World where you have the bell buzzer simulated, unless you're playing as the conductor on Manchester to Piccadilly to Hadfield. But I mean, I I just think it would be so easy to add, you know. Okay, doors have been closed for a few seconds. Like, just play the bell buzzer noise and I'll repeat it back. I don't know. Oh, got another single line section here. Oh, don't speed, don't speed, don't speed. Right, go 40. My thinking is, uh, like, obviously the stations are quite close together, so you'll have a lot of acceleration and braking. But even aside from that, I feel like this line is quite slow. Um... You know, just because it's, it's just Redditch to Litchfield, that's not a very long distance, but it takes an hour and 20 minutes. So, yeah. I don't know how far apart they are, but that's got to be quite a... Uh, like, can't really be much more than 25, 30 miles at most. Oh, no, don't speed, don't speed. This area is quite pretty though. Nice single line section and uh, lovely trees and fields around us. You wouldn't think that we're near Birmingham, but... Right, we've got a 15 coming up, as well as a yellow signal. I'm just going to let it coast down a bit. Beep! Uh, let's let's put in some braking. Just get us down to the 15 uh, before the board. Alright, let it coast the rest of the way. Yeah, it seems now I'm being a little bit too careful with my braking. This seems like an unnecessary 15 mile an hour speed limit. Like sure, it's, it's a bit of a tight curve, but I don't think this is tight enough to warrant 15 miles an hour. 
You could easily do 25, 30 around here and you'd be fine, I think, but I don't know. I'm not a network rail engineer. So that's platform three. I'm only seeing two platforms. Oh! There's another platform over there, I see. That'll be where the line from Bromsgrove joins us, I think. I think that might be what's going on here. Right. Again, this seems like we're stopping very far back, but I suppose we do have the signal right there, so... I suppose we've got kind of no choice. Oh, and the signal's gone green. It appears that we are here for two minutes, so I will I will skip until it is time to go. Uh, oh, got inside the train there. All right, it is time to go. I've done some research. It appears that they are 27 miles apart, and an hour and 20 minutes to get between them is a long time, but I can see why that's happening um, when this is the kind of speeds that we're doing. Right, let's get up to 15. Thankfully, once we're clear of the station, we can go 90. So, yeah. Oh, I see. So this bit, like, here does not count as this platform anymore. Interesting stuff. Oh, don't break. I guess once we're, uh, once we're past this junction... We can do 90. Come on. Okay, let's go. Full welly time. Such good noises. These trains sound so good. It looks like there is some kind of um, diesel only loop next to us. It might be for like freight trains or something. I'm fairly sure freight trains do use this route. Hello, it's another 323. Three. Got a. We do have a double yellow signal. So I am going to ease off the uh, the power a little bit. I should have honked at the other three, two, three. Next time I see one, I will honk the horn. Right. Oh wow, that the speed limit in that loop is twenty miles an hour. That is, yeah, that is slow. Maybe it's only used for, like, slow-running stuff that needs to be put aside so something faster can pass it, right. Still got a yellow signal up ahead, so I'm going to give it a notch of braking. Okay, let's ease off a bit. We've got that's, yeah, that's the thing. We've only got a minute until we're meant to be at the next station, but it's over, a, well, it's a, it's a mile away, so we really, we want to be going like 70, 80 miles an hour right now, but we've got a red signal coming up, so it would not be wise to do so. I would not like this bad today. Looks like we might have a uh, another diesel loop on the other side as well. It's an interesting layout, this. Four tracks, um, but only the middle one's electrified. The signal ahead of us is still red. We are meant to be in the station in 15 seconds. Which is very much not going to happen. Alright, let's... Oh, actually, I'm going a bit fast over this magnet. Oh, and now it's green. Okay. 
Let's go. But only up to 30, because we've got a 30 limit coming up. That is more than 30. Alright, it's fine. It's fine, we've got a bit of time. It appears we are using this junction here. We had the, the junction indicator was very much lit. Right, down to 30. No speeding today. Right, let's bring the speed down for Longbridge. It's another place I've actually heard of. Amazing that. Again, we're stopping very far back everywhere. I don't know if the game's just gone, you've got a three car instead of a six. Okay, stop halfway down each platform. But, oh no, okay, so there is a three car stop marker there. Fair enough. I will stop questioning the game this much. Right. Ah. I did go slightly past it, but that's alright. Right. Let's get out of here. I can go 70, so I'm going to whack it straight into notch 4. Ooh. Go! The acceleration does not look very quick on the screen, I promise. Uh, working on these trains in real life, the acceleration feels a lot quicker in real life. It, it just seemed a bit, like, anticlimactic when we accelerated there, but... Oh well. Right, we've got Northfield coming up in point eight or oh, point seven miles now. Oh, there's another three two three. Uh, three two three. Oh yes. Right. Oh, got a bit of lag. Right, let's. Uh, oh, I don't want brake handle three. No. Just wanted notch one. Ease off a bit. This is Northfield. I do not know this area well at all, so I, I've got... All I know is we're somewhere south of Birmingham. Like, ten miles south-ish. Beyond that, no clue. Absolutely no idea. Looks like this station used to be four platforms, because there's this big disused island in the middle. Now I don't know if this all used to be electrified, or if none of it was electrified, and then they only electrified two platforms. Right. That was b beautiful. Stopped like in exactly the right place there. At least I think so. Right. Um time to go. Time to go. Based on the lack of um like gantries spanning over the other tracks, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that the only bits that were ever electrified were these two outer bits. Well there's announcements at the stations. Unfortunately, I don't think train effects appears to be simulated because the screen is just showing nothing. You know, normally normally you'd use that to set up the announcements and stuff, but yeah, don't think it's simulated in this game, which is which is a bit of a shame. All right, got Oh, King Norton. I have heard of King Norton. That is very much a place I have heard of. King Snorton, that's like, that's actually kind of in Birmingham already. I guess we're closer than I thought. Um, got a 40 limit for the platform. 
So I'm going to give us one notch of breaking. Got a bit of lag. I assume that's because we are kind of coming into uh, into the proper urban part of Birmingham now. You know, we've got like Sally Oak and University in five ways, and then if okay, I'm gonna guess that the next station after Kings Norton, I have slowed down way too much there. Oops, I'm going to guess that it's Kings Norton next, which we know, and then. And then I think it is Selly Oak, University, Five Ways, Birmingham, New Street. Or there there might be something with the word Langley in it. I don't know. Let's find out. Kings Oh, Bourneville. Oh, I've been to Bourneville. I've even been there. That's where the um that's where Cadbury's world is. Yeah, I was there like two weeks ago. Funnily enough, I was just going there to to travel on the cross city line. Didn't get on any 323s, it was just 730s uh, on the services that we were on. But, yeah. Yeah, oops, forgot about Bourneville. Right, Kings Norton. I think this is meant to be like one of the posture parts of Birmingham. So, yeah. Oh, I've smashed it. Oh, no, that's... That's photo mode. Didn't want that. Oh, no. Oh, okay, there we go. Look. I'm at the S car marker. That is beautiful. Um, Yeah, like, it is right in the middle of my window, which is, I believe, is exactly where you want it to be. So, in in the next, in part two... When we get to see my stopping accuracy for every station, I'm gonna look at um, look gonna look at King Sorton because that should be something like zero point zero five yards. All right, got a forty five limit round here. Let's ease back a little bit. going downhill a bit so uh, we do gain speed when not doing anything got a 60 coming up but also we've got Bourneville in just over half a mile so we will not be going 60 go up a little bit but yeah we'll go up to like 50 or so God, is that level crossing? No, it's not. It's just uh, it's just something on the tracks. Don't know what those things are. I've I have seen them like a lot in this game, not so much in real life, I don't think. But yeah, I've got no idea what they are. All right, Bourneville. Oh yeah, this uh this is accurate. This does look how it looks in real life. Very, uh, very thin platform on the right there. Oh, I've not, I've not braked enough. Not to it is. It's bright purple. Yeah. It isn't this shiny in real life. I'll say that much. Okay, now I've braked too much. But yeah, no, this, this is, uh, this station is very accurate to real life. Oh, don't stop, don't stop, not of the not there yet. Okay, that'll do. We are slightly late. That was a pretty good uh pretty good stopping accuracy there as well. God, we're really not staying at these stations for a long time. Just in and out very quickly. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, see, okay. Selly Oak. And then, you. Oh, what happened there? Selly Oak, University, Five Weights. And then Birmingham New Street. 
So, I forgot Bournville, but apart from that, I think I did pretty well, considering that I do not know the area at all. And the only stations that I've been to on this line are Birmingham New Street, obviously, Bourneville, like two weeks ago, and University, like five years ago. So yeah. Meant to be at Sally Oak in one whole minute. Alright, let's uh, slow down. Ding! Let's ease off a little bit. I think Sally Oak is where a lot of the student accommodation is. Yeah, yeah, those those uh, those buildings look very, very student accommodation-y, and I think over to the right just a minute ago I saw what looked like, I believe there's a hospital next to the university, and I think I saw that hospital. I did, um, Birmingham was one of the universities, like, that I looked at going to. The city, say what you want about the city, the university campus is actually really, really lovely. And, you know... It's got 323s going through it, so that makes it even better. Again, I have braked a little bit too much. I'm being a bit too cautious. But the timetable appears to be fairly forgiving. You know, we're not doing too bad in terms of in terms of delay. And stop. Nice, pretty good, pretty good position there again. So yeah, I think there's a lot of student accommodation here. I think it's like a kind of 10, 15 minute walk to the university. Um, I assume a lot of people get on the train. I assume a lot of the people who get on the train do so without paying. Because it's one stop. It's one stop and it's 0 0.7 miles. Now, in real life... Um, I think last year, maybe the year before, University Station was massively overhauled and made quite nice, very fancy. I don't think that's going to be reflected in this game. I think we're going to see the old University Station, which was, if I remember correctly, two platforms and a small building and nothing notable or exciting. So, yeah, we shall see. I think that's Birmingham City Centre up, kind of on the left there. Oh, got lag there. Got a lot of lag. Alright, let's give it notch two, because I've not braked enough. Ah, uh, is that the new station? No, I think this is... No, this is the new station. I think this is the new station. I didn't realise I had this in the game. Wait, no, I can't tell. I'll be honest, I've not been to the new station and I don't remember what the old one looked like very much. So, I'm perhaps not the best judge. If anyone sees this who knows whether this is the new or the old station, please let me know in the comments. Um, I stopped in the right place. Uh Oh, I overshot slightly. Oh well. Oh my god, we're actually on time. I have to wait. I have to wait a few s Oh, I pressed the start button. Oops. But yeah, I have to wait a few seconds. Right. Let's go. It's going to be very slow into Birmingham New Street now. Very, very slow. Right. Next is five ways. So I'm going to look around to see if I can see that hospital. Um, okay, well, the buildings are blocking everything. Uh, can't really tell. I think it was that building there that I saw, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh well. Ah, oh well. 
Right, we've got a mile and a half and we've got two and a bit minutes to do it in. It's very wiggly this bit. A lot of lefts and rights. Oh, and a lot of lag. Does it wanna do you wanna do you wanna there we go. Oh that'll be for the forty miles an hour. Indeed. Yeah, we've got a forty limit a bit before uh, a bit before five ways. Oh, I remember seeing this bit when I uh, when I travelled. There's a there's a canal there on the right. It goes through the tunnel next to us. All right, let's slow down for the forty. Beautiful stuff. Again, these weird things on the track, I do not know what those are. Right, let's slow down for five ways. Don't know what the name five waves comes from. Five waves? Not five waves. Five ways. Yeah, don't know what it comes from. Got no idea. If you know, tell me in the comments. I feel like there's going to be a lot of that on these two videos. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do find like the railways around Birmingham very interesting, but I don't know enough about the area or any of it to, to kind of know what's going on with it. No, oh, stop, 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 stop. Overshot slightly there. But, uh... Yeah, we're still on the platform, it's fine. Oh my god, we're on time again. We're gonna have to wait for a few seconds. That's, that's amazing. The fact that I have managed to drive this, not break speed limits, only have to use Notch 2 a couple of times. Oh, I, I completely missed where it said locked doors there. Yeah, okay, now we're 10 seconds late. I was gonna say, the fact that we're still on time, something to be proud of, I think. Right, 0.8 miles to Birmingham New Street, and it's giving us three whole minutes to get there. This, this bit, this bit is, uh... You can almost walk faster than, uh, than a lot of this bit. Nice tunnel here. Oh, I'm speeding. No, no, no. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the cool tunnel. No! God damn it. Oh well. It was only by a couple miles an hour. Alright, slow down for this 20. I think this whole bit is going to be very downhill. God, the lighting of this game can be weird sometimes. <laughs> Looks like we're going into platform 8. See what I mean about the lighting? Like, the fact that there's like this white glow on the bottom of the right wall there. I don't know. It's odd. It's very odd. Right, looks like we've got a 10 limit at the end of the tunnel. Oh, and more lag. Yay. Love it. Right, 
Right. Now comes the fun bit. We have to try and keep under 10 miles an hour while going down a massive gradient. For 400 yards. Got a minute to do it in. Yeah, we're not going to be there on time. Like, it is mathematically impossible for us to not speed and still make it there on time. God, this is a mess of a junction. Oh, no. I did not want... I accidentally put it into notch one of power. I did not want that. Okay, I see our stopping position. God, and I thought coming into uh, Manchester Piccadilly was a bit tedious. Because it's 15 miles an hour into there. But this is this is a, a much longer distance and a slower speed. It takes ages. Thankfully, we have stopped going down the gradient. Unthankfully, if that's a word we want to use, um, we are not on time. Because, as I said, mathematically impossible. Oh, I did not want I did not want to give it power there. Okay, right. Let's open the doors. Put it into neutral. Right, we've got a couple minutes here, so um this has been part one. I guess you'll see me again in part two.